And part of the reason that it isn't being finished is because other projects have come along that probably shouldn't but are, and that's a, a sleeve, sleeve valve engine, two-stroke. That's the, that's the sleeve, that's the piston, that's the, uh, that's the crank with half of the crank with the sleeve, with the sleeve drive. There's the other half of the crank, yet, yet to be pressed together of course, with the other sleeve, the other drive on the other side. And they drive the sleeve, the, uh, which doesn't actually fit at the moment, it needs machining and honing to make the sleeve fit, but that essentially fits up and sort down inside there. So you've got what you've got is this, uh, basically a uniflow engine, you've got a ring of transfers at the bottom, and then a ring of exhausts near the top. So you've got in at, in at the bottom and out through the top. And the head actually screws, that's thread, the head's a, 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 a separate part that screws in and comes up against this little land here. This is just a cover. That's all that is, is to hold a water cover, to hold, hold the water in. Water's in, in here. They're, they're actually core print holes anyway. I've got to have them for the casting anyway. So I decided I'd just have four four large water inlets because it's going to be important to keep that cool so lots of water flowing through there's one exhaust there other exhaust there nice uh, sweeping transfers there's one a fresh there's a cast one that hasn't been machined yet just that one's just been cast and heat treat there's the core print holes there just cast and heat that's a spare one I cast two of them figuring that I would muck up one of them but so far, that's just still a spare one, so let's hope. And that's, there's the transfer, there's the, there's the raw casting just heat treated. There's the heavily water cord, that's completely water cord around the, the exhaust tube is completely, even down the bridge, through the bridge through the middle, it's all water cord. And there's the, there's the machined one, it's not uh, almost finished, but not quite. That's the, the ready to go version. Yeah, in there, it's hard to see, but in there, that, that bridge is all water cooled. It's all hollow internally for water to, to flow and cool. And those are the cases. Those are the, is that what we've got right there? Yep. Those are the cases for this same sleeve engine. Uh, balance shaft, able to have a balance shaft in the system. That's to suit a YZ250 gearbox again, largely because I've already got the program sorted out for the CNC. That's for water, water that will be cut short, that's for water gallery, water cooled crankcase it'll have. And that's the top half, that's the top casting where the cylinder obviously, where the cylinder matches. Lift it up a bit. Yep, that's around That's where the cylinder matches. Case, clearly a case read. There's our reed. That's a core to make it hollow when we cast it, and that's where the, that's where the reed will fit. Um, just going to really hurry up and get them cast, really. You want to show the um, sleeve? That's the sleeve. Yep, it's right it's in the middle there. 4140, it's been nitrided. Um, that's not actually the piston, but it does fit. Uh, just like the Rolls Royce Cressy back in the war era it's what they call a um, uh, it's, there's no piston ring sealing it's just all it does is rely on the, the top edge of the sleeve to expand with heat and then seal against the outside of the the aluminium barrel and so technically the sleeve and the barrel grow and, and shrink together with thermal loading now even I find it hard to believe that it's not going to seize but they had met thousands of hours lots of horsepower on a similar system and it worked so why can't we have a go we'll have a go and see what happens that's the and that's the drive the sleeve the sleeve is only a the sleeve is only 24 millimeter strokes so it's a much shorter stroke so that's although that looks like an old Davies water pump uh, two of those either side should be quite suitable to operate it now it may not operate up to 14,000 revs but uh, just to have the thing operate and make some power would be interesting for a start to see see what happens. The uh, the idea of this crankcase is not just for the sleeve engine, which may or may not work. It may have issues, but the whole 
plan behind this is to also make an FOS cylinder, Fritz Overmars system, or Fritz Overmars special, I suppose you'd call it, uh, that doesn't run a sleeve, but does run a ring of exhaust and a ring of inlets. And it's a, it will be interesting to see how it operates, but it will fit on this. The whole reason is it's got transfer port, ability for transfer ports right round in a ring. So this crankcase will feed that type of cylinder. So that's that's coming up. That's another another casting that will be done, I don't know, in the next few months, I expect. These, uh, this sleeve cylinder cases and the FOS case is designed to run in this, uh, the O10 Yamaha YZF frame, so that should we get decent results, we can actually put it into a real, run it in a bike and run it in the real world, so that we've, um, well, tried out for, for in real life. Now this one, the crankshaft won't run backwards, this will be just a standard, standard crankshaft, but the bob weight will run backwards.